Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Porter's How To Series. My name's Carl, and today I'm going to be demonstrating Crackle. Crackle is a, a clear medium that gets put between two coats of paint and makes the top coat crack, look distressed and old, and it's a great way of making something look like an antique. Really simple to use, really easy. I'm going to be demonstrating it today on this old frame that I found lying around at home. Um, let's get started. So, just to save a bit of time for today's demonstration, the frame, I've already given it a sand and I've put on a coat of our Universal Primer and left it for 24 hours, okay? I'm using Universal Primer because it had a, a glaze on there first, so I've sanded that to give it a key and then I've put on the primer, let it dry completely, and now I'm going to put on some colour and I'm using a low sheen acrylic tinted to amulet, which is a beautiful soft blue colour. And I'm just going to brush it over the top of the primer Nice thin coats. I'm going to need two coats of this. Once again, a really easy product to use. Nice long brush strokes. Put it on relatively thinly so that you get an even coating. The whole way around the frame. I'll put on two coats of that. I'll let it dry completely, obviously. I'll put on some crackle medium and then I'll put the top coat on, which is going to crack and look fantastic. Two coats of lotion acrylic I've put onto the base of this, tinted to amulet, this beautiful soft blue. That's completely dry. Now I'm going to put on my crackle medium. Crackle medium is a clear medium, okay, that you put on to the lotion acrylic in a crisscross manner, okay? So just thin coat like that. So it just, you can just see when, it, when the light hits it where, it, where it's uh, uh, touching the surface. And I'm just going to crisscross it on like so, just random and uneven. What happens is when the top coat goes on, it's actually going to follow my brush strokes that I created the crisscross with. So the more random you are with the crisscross and the, and the brush stroke, the more cracks you're going to get. Now you can put on one thicker coat or you can put on two thinner coats of crackle. You're going to leave it overnight for about 12 hours and then you're going to brush on one top coat over the whole thing. You can leave this for 24 hours before you put the top coat on. If you, for some reason, forget and you leave it for longer than that, just put another coat of um, crackle on there, 12 hours, and then put your top coat on. Okay, so just random uneven crisscrosses, working my way around the frame, trying not to dribble and drizzle stuff all over the place. Okay. Covering the whole surface. Obviously, if I miss any bits, then it's not going to crack in those particular areas. But I can see where I've been and where I haven't because when the light hits it, I can see where it's covering the surface. Okay, nearly there. I'm just going to join up to where I started from. There we go. Random uneven crisscrosses. And that's it. So I'll leave this for 12 hours. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll put on the top coat. It'll crack pretty much immediately. I'll see you then. All right. So I've left my crackle overnight. I've left it for 12 hours to dry and to cure. Now it's time to put on the top coat. Today I'm putting on eggshell because it's got a very soft sheen to it. I don't want it too shiny. And I'm just going to be brushing this color milk over the top of it. Milk's a really soft, um, neutral, off-white. It works with anything. And I'm just going to brush it on. Now, the trick with Crackle is once I start to brush it on, it pretty much starts to crack straight away. So I'm going to just use this natural line here in the frame. I'll start from there, and I'll work my way around the frame, and then I'll join it up at the end here. If I change my mind and go back over what I've already done, it starts to pull it away. So just keep in mind, once you start, you can only move in one direction. Okay? Fingers crossed. Here we go. So I'm just brushing it on. Start at a little break here where the join is. And I'm brushing it on. Nice even coats. You can see I'm just moving in one direction. And as I'm brushing it on, hopefully you'll see the paint start to crack and become distressed and have an antique look to it. Okay. That's right. Putting on a thin coat. Just working my way around the frame with a nice even brush stroke. Don't put it on too thick. Don't put it on too thin. Nice and even. You've got a little bit of time just to correct yourself, but keep in mind you can only work in one direction. Okay? So I might just crank up the pace a little bit here and just move across the base. Putting on my eggshell acrylic, which is tinted to milk, a really soft, neutral white, which works with anything. Okay, I can zip across the base there, and then I'm just going to come back up here. 
can see I'm just moving in one direction. So this product, this Crackle product, lends itself to smaller sort of projects. If you're doing this on a large wall, you'd have a bit of a hassle trying to keep that edge wet as you worked your way across the wall. And you can only brush it on, you can't roll it, okay? Back across the top here. And hopefully, you can see this beautiful cracked surface appear because I've done such a great job at putting it on. Okay, now I have to join this up. If I go over what I've already done, I'm going to start to pull it away because it's still a little bit wet. So I just cut in like that. And I'm just going to brush on this final coat here, and that's it. I can't go back. It should be perfect. Crackle, everyone. How good does that look? I've just got an old frame that I had lying around at home. I've given it a sand just to give it a bit of a key, dusted it down, put on some universal primer, two coats of the lotion acrylic tinted to this beautiful blue color amulet. I've let that dry completely. Then I've crisscrossed on my crackle medium. Now crisscrossing it's really important because it gives it all the textures when the top coat cracks and makes all those cracks go in different directions. I've left that for 12 hours and then I've put on my eggshell acrylic tinted to milk, a really soft, organic sort of off-white. As I've brushed it on, I've just brushed in one direction and it started to crack almost immediately. You don't need a top coat after that. You don't need to seal it. It looks good just like this. It's perfect, easy to use, looks fantastic. Have a lot of fun with it. I'll see you next time. Bye.